In today's video, I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite off-meta offenses in Madden 24. This has been one of my favorite offenses since I started playing. It's actually the first offense I ever ran in Madden, and it is out of the West Coast playbook. Now, this is going to be the far tight slot formation. Um, like I said, this is uh, kind of the offense that got me started in Madden. One of my first YouTube uh, series was on this formation. And uh, so I wanted to break it down for you here in Madden 24, and I think it's actually really good. So um, far tight slot out of the... The West Coast playbook. Now, a couple things real quick. There's a lot of really, really good routes in this formation. And I talked about this a little bit uh, in some previous videos that I did. The biggest thing that you're trying to find whenever you're looking for formations is you're trying to find really three main routes, and that is the post route, the corner route, and the wheel route. And ideally, you would want different variations of those routes. So for example, here on the play X spot, the uh, slot receivers on the corner route, but on bench switch, the left side receivers on the corner route, and you can do different things uh, with that. Uh, or another example could be like X spot, has a really good post route to the tight end that we can use uh, in a lot of different ways, which we'll show you. Um, so X spot now becomes one of the best plays in the formation, just because it has some unique routes that you can't hot route. Um, and then like, for example, you're also looking for like seam streaks. If you can find those, so like to play curls, really good play. Um, and then on the subject of post routes, this play flats has a unique post because it's a skinny post from compression, which you can't hot route that either. So there's a lot of different types of really solid routes uh, in this formation. So what we're gonna do is we are going to put, uh, we're gonna utilize the play uh, X spot, bench switch, all these plays are pretty much good. Um, what I would recommend is just uh, swapping out X spot for curls and then just coming out in the play. If you wanna have the fullback dive, you can do that. It's one of the best runs in the game or the halfback dive, both are really good. Um, but we're gonna come out in X spot and X spot's gonna be kind of our foundational passing play out of this formation because we can create a lot of really, really cool uh, passing concepts with this uh, with this route. So uh, X spot, and now if you look at this play real quick, um, if I was to put my tight end on a tight end apprentice post, I wanna show you that it is gonna cut a little sharper and it's going to run a little flatter on the field. Whereas this X spot post has a little tail to it, and it really looks more like the post route out of the play deep attack in the bunch formation. Now the same thing is true with this corner route. If I put a hot route master corner route out here, you're gonna see it's gonna run a little different. And if I utilize the corner route that's on the play, it has that little tail to it. And what that little tail is gonna do is it's gonna give it a little bit better chance to be able to beat man coverage. This is the same corner route that you'll see um, out of trip side in, out of the play PA slot corner. Now, guys, if you want to learn how I run all of my different offenses and defenses, join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It's going to get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive eBooks. And as we're gearing up for Madden 24, um, it's a great time to get into the Patreon because you'll get everything that we've done in Madden 23 and a lot of stuff we're doing to prepare for Madden 24. And it's only 10 bucks. You can sign up by clicking the link down in the description below. But here's the setup for our base play. So what we're going to do, and we know um, one of the other cool pieces to this formation is the alignment of the slot receiver is kind of similar to the alignment from tight slots halfback week. So if I put him on a slant route, even though they're pressing me in a nickel formation, they're probably not gonna be able to press him. The other thing is, and then we're just gonna streak this guy. So no hot route master required. This is probably, I think, one of the best plays in the game. Uh, and you're gonna see why right here. So you'll see this, the slant route can't be jammed. It can't be pressed. So it's gonna beat main coverage pretty consistently okay now if we were going all out and we wanted to really get a man beater going here i really like this play flats and the reason why is because we can do this and then we have that skinny post from a compression set and then what i would honestly do is block my fullback and then you could just take the running back and put him on an out route simple setup here and this is going to give us a really good ability to consistently beat man and we're leveraging the power of the tight end apprentice post route which is a little bit better at beating man than the x spot post route but let's go through this uh first initial setup here out of x spot so uh another thing that's really cool is by blocking your running back you should be able to pick up most pressure so what you'll see here even against the 3-3 cub we're going to pick up that blitz and then we're gonna throw this tight end route over the middle. Now, as you can see, when that tight end cuts over the middle, it's gonna beat man coverage. One of the things that people are going to do to try to stop this is they might run a setup that looks basically like this, 
and then they're going to utilize their linebackers and coverage. So maybe they go with something like this, vertical hook here, right? Kind of adapting their man coverage based off our tendencies. The beauty of this route to the tight end is it's going to get deeper than a traditional uh, tight end apprentice post route will. You'll see it's going to run all the way over here. And then obviously we still need them to beat man, um, but it gets a really good depth uh, specifically against zones. There's a lot of things that we can utilize uh, this route to do because of how good it's going to consistently be for us in terms of its ability to attack zone coverage. I'll show it to you again here. And again, the slant route is really the best route that we have here. Uh, and it's because of the alignment of this formation, but you'll see, see how he's gonna get way over the top of the cloud. Now all we have to do, and that's just because I've got an inside shade there, um, but you should be able to consistently be banned. Now, like I said, if they're gonna consistently run a lot of man coverage on you, one thing you can do is just smart route this route and get it to cut a little shorter. And typically what getting it to cut a little shorter is gonna do is it's going to allow you to throw the ball, you know, kind of right in here. And then you can ag away from KOs just like that. So if it's man coverage, you're gonna to wanna to throw this route a little bit more in the middle of the field. Now, what if they do zone? What if they go to zone coverage? So if they go to zone coverage on this play, we have a lot of really good routes. So if they go to zone coverage, and again, you're doing this with literally two hot routes, which is really nice. So um, you're going to see against zone coverage, we're going to get a really nice clear out from that streak. And we're going to be able to throw that tight end almost like a crosser type of route concept um, is basically what we're gonna be able to do. So that was a uh, cover four defense. This is one of the other reasons why it's really important that you run this formation with your twins, your two receivers. Typically, we want them to be to the short side of the field um, because they can clear out zone. And then you can throw this all day over the top of the uh, coverage. Now, what about cloud flats? Um, so the traditional tight end apprentice post is not going to do really good against a backed off cloud flat. I'll show you what I'm talking about by putting Vernon Davis on this post. So you'll see right here, here's the tight end apprentice post. You see he's gonna run himself right into coverage um, on the cloud flat, especially if you run into the short side of the field like we're doing. The beauty of this, uh, this play from X spot is this route is gonna get a lot more depth than the tight end apprentice post is gonna get. So what you're gonna see here is look how deep he's gonna get down the field and he's gonna be able to beat that coverage consistently. So it really forces the user to have to be in a position where they pretty much have to use her, um, the tight end route. They, they, they're pretty much gonna to have to use the tight end route. So then if you think this all the way through, they have to use her the tight end route. So it's gonna look something like this. They might set up a coverage, it looks like that. Um, but they're gonna to have to take themselves out of the middle of the field basically. And so that's where the slant route becomes one of the best routes in the game because it's able to not only get under yellow zones, but it's also unbumpable against man coverage. And then all that to say, the other cool part about this, let's say we get a man blitz. So if they blitz us out of man coverage, notice how um, it's a man switch kind of concept here. So if they blitz us out of man coverage, we can typically throw the ball to the running back super quick out of the backfield. And oftentimes he's going to get consistent separation. We can really leverage the power of our running backs in this play and in this formation, which makes this, I think, one of the most underrated offenses um, in the game. We're going to do some more videos out of our tight slot. So make sure you're subbed to the channel. If you want to learn more about the West Coast playbook, join the Patreon. We've got a full ebook in there for you guys. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.